Nishiwaki. I'm going to talk about Japan-China relations. At first, I want to explain the present domestic politics of Japan in order to make foreign explanations easy to be understood. In 2009, the Democratic Party of Japan defeated the Liberal Democratic Party that had been governed Japan for more than 15 years. And DPJ's leader, Yukio Hatoyama, became the prime minister. DPJ considers it very important for China and Japan to develop a mutually beneficial strategic relationship. DPJ's Secretary General, Ichiro Ozawa's visit to China last year, represented this clearly. However, recent Japan-China relations have not only positive mood, but also negative mood, such as territorial issues, especially in East China Sea. Hatoyama hopes that East China Sea becomes the sea of friendship, but there's no concrete policy about it. Moreover, there is long-standing civil distrust over many issues between Japanese and Chinese, which may impede civilian friendship. But all things considered, Japan-China relation is rapidly developing. Japan and China recently made a joint research about World War II. For the first time, which will bring an end to historical controversy. And the fact Secretary General Ozawa and other members of DPJ visited China shows how important Japan sees China. Moreover, Hatoyama put forward the notion of the East Asian community last year, which may mean Japan will put more emphasis on its relations with China than with the US. Next, I want to talk about what kind of threats Japan-China relations can have in the future. It is still not clear which country will take the leadership in shaping East Asian region in the next decade. If Japan does, the Western rules of the modern world, like WTO or UN Charter, will be prevalent in this region. But if China does, its new rule can be spread all over Asian states. Deep down, this issue of Asian leadership provides good opportunity to Japan and China to cooperate with each other to make tomorrow's Asia. But at the same time, a seed of conflict can be seen anywhere. The very existence of US-Japan relations can also be problematic. Although it's often said that US-Japan relation is the cornerstone of East Asia security, it doesn't necessarily mean this is also beneficial rising China. If China regards this alliance an obstacle to its power projection, Japan-China relation will face serious difficulty. Finally, I'd like to recap the main points of Japan-China relations. There are positive and negative aspects in this bilateral relations. The political and civil interactions are really a good sign, but Territorial disputes and historical and cultural frictions can hinder better relations. However, all things considered, I can say that right now. Japan-China relation is rapidly developing, but perhaps this is not so substantial because I can see any concrete achievement at least so far. The problem is the future possibility concerning Japan-China relations or East Asia, such as regional leadership and military power balance, is so great that we can't overestimate this future contingency. For example, if we fail to engage Chinese leadership in the Western rules, China will pose serious threats to Japan and the US. These kinds of possibilities have to be examined carefully to make potential conflicts as unlikely as possible. This is all for my part. Thank you for your attention.